Okay, so today's episode is brought to you by our two favorite Valentine's Day sponsors. First is um, Shea Good. They have a body body oil, yep. Um, whipped body butter and whipped body soap. Um, so it's a great gift for Valentine's Day. Also, um, Sugar Sugar Planners. So they will plan the best Valentine's Day um, dinner for you, event at the house or outside, or any other event that you have coming. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right, so men who go out of their way not to celebrate Valentine's Day with their partner are weird, <laughs> especially if they know it means something to her. Just evil behavior, love, with two O's. <laughs> That's a man too. What did you think? That's correct. Did you hear him? Did you hear what he said? Yeah, because for me, it, it's equivalent to if I say like, I'm hungry. I don't care what we eat, but I still want to eat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what we eat, but I still want to eat. I don't sure. care what you do, but I want to do something. So, should a man feel obliged to spoil his girl on Valentine's Day? I think they should both feel obliged to spoil mm -hmm. each other. Jeez, good boy, Mike. But I think I think the tweet is saying more. If he goes out of his way not to, yeah. as in, like, he's got a girl, he knows he's got a girl, shit, Valentine's is coming, I need to make up a lie. Mm. My mum's sick, yeah. I need to go back to London. Uh, that's, that's, that's what she's saying is bad. Yeah, and you know I agree what? with that, though, because if, if your girl really cares about Valentine's Day, and if you've gone to the extent of making this woman your your woman. Yeah, but the Why question are you is, not happy to the boys them? really do that to their girls or do they do that to their sides? I was going to say I, that because the true. thing is, you have to think, why would a guy do that? Either yeah. one, he doesn't rate you yeah. or two, you're not actually his partner. Bro, you're actually Or he's actually just an arsehole. There's bare arseholes Or he's broke. You're yeah, maybe he doesn't have any money. You're yeah, excellent. maybe yeah. he's got relationships. This <laughs> Anyone who watches this who's in that position, they're going for their boys because of what you just said. What, that you ain't got money? No, he don't rate you. Yeah, but it's true though. It's yeah, like you just said that if he didn't care, I mean like if he but don't have I said I money, don't care because I, if, I'm, if I had an expectation of a certain thing to get something and that's not met, then fair enough. But I don't have that expectation of something being done. Well, if I've said to you, oh yeah, I really want to do something this Valentine's Day and you've chosen not to do it, yeah, I'm going to be annoyed. But if I've said, no, nah, I, don't, I don't mind, like, I'm just calm, chilling. I'm, I'm happy to go see my girls. Last year, I went, I was chilling with my girls, like, I was yeah, happy. Yeah, did you know I was calm. boyfriend? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> did you have a boyfriend? Or did he not, did he want to do, like, did you want something done and then he didn't do it? I didn't want anything done. Oh, so you were just cool with your girls and that? Yeah, I was calm. Yeah, like, yeah, for yeah. me, I'm happy that I've got Actually, it. no I'm... specific reason. There's all this stuff referring to, like, uh, the Greek gods and all these people, like, St. Valentine and all this stuff, but there's no actual reason why we celebrate it. So it's more, it's more to do with, like, sexual liberation and just celebrating um, male and female relationships and sexuality. And in some places, it's like... In the Philippines, apparently, that's when there's the most wedding anniversaries because people yeah, actually set Valentine's, Valentine's Day to get married. So it's yeah. more of like, uh, so what? What? To, to so be honest, it's more for Western. Doing something so what? Do you, yeah. do, what? No, no, I'm just saying that's the, that's like the only origin. So it's not like Christmas where it's like we're celebrating Jesus's birth, and then people who aren't Christians sometimes wouldn't celebrate Valentine. Mm -hmm. um, so Christmas. So do you yeah. think it's more of a hype? Yeah, of course. And like an opportunity. Yeah. And the money thing. Like, 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 even the other day, I was going, um, so for Sugar Sugar Planners, we're doing roses and whatever. So obviously we're looking around to see, like, value. They're saying, oh, it's one price, Valentine's Day, and then that goes up 10%. Do you know what I mean? So it's also a time where lots of businesses can make a lot of money. Yeah, but I'm talking about, is it a hype in the sense that, like, the girls just think, oh, like, this is this is what we all need to have done by our partners, and if they do it, they ain't shit. Like, is it a hype in that way, or is it an opportunity for? I think a it's situation definitely, it definitely to puts the spotlight. It definitely puts the spotlight on male and fi female situationship. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it will yeah. show a girl clearly. Okay, this is how he sees me. Yeah, yeah, she because he, obviously, some girls will say like, will give excuses for whoever they're seeing as to mm. why he's not making them like completely serious. So. It's an opportunity, in a way, I say, for to graduate into a relationship. If it can be, yeah. But then again, it goes back to the point I was saying before. If you're if you're not romantic or maybe you're a bit shy, Valentine's Day is an 
is an yeah, excuse, is a reason, is a time stamp date for you to do something. But do you not think that's just like terrible on a man's perspective? If it's like, oh, he's too shy or he's not romantic enough that he needs a date. Yeah, but some people. Called Valentine's Day. Some people aren't romantic. What do you want to do about it? It's like some people genuinely don't think, oh, you know what, let me get rose petals or let me buy her flowers on the way home. Valentine's yeah. Day is the opportunity for the guy to actually show that he cares. Because, oh, maybe he's always got excuses, busy, whatever. Valentine's Day is that day, right? What are you on? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's time for the guy to be creative. And yeah, like, in, you know we're what? talking about, we're talking about, we do this for we're talking about situationships though, right? Not a relationship. Either. Because yeah, if you've been with a girl for two years, it's not going to be like, oh yeah, okay, this is the day where I know that you care. Because yeah, because you still might around. really care about Valentine's Day though, whether she's your girl or not. Like I know some women, and they really care about Valentine's Day. Don't matter if they've been with their man yeah. for a couple of months or a couple of years. Like yeah. they care about Valentine's Day. They want to be spotted. Have you ever had a Valentine's Day with a man? Yeah, no, no, with a girl, with, with, with an animal. With a, like a horse celebrated with a man. Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah, I have. yeah. yeah. How was that? Did um, you enjoy it? So would you say you cared? Because I'm trying to get it out of you, do you <laughs> care? <Yeah. laughs> I think you but, do care. No, because for me, I, don't, I never want to force anyone to do anything. Yeah, so if you care about me yeah. and you want to show me you care, you're going to show me on Valentine's Day, you're going to show me on birthday, you're going to show me throughout the year. I'm not going to be like, I care about Valentine's Day and you must do this and you must do that. Otherwise, fuck you, your ex. Like, <laughs> you're going to show me your care on your own or you're not. But my thing is, if you're at work, yeah, and you're waiting all day, <laughs> for a surprise because you know you've got a man yeah yeah, yeah. and and it comes to like 10 p.m and you're like 10 p.m yeah. <laughs> yeah. and then you're like um so, <laughs> so, no, <laughs> like, so, so would you not feel a type of way about it i'd be like, like oh, okay he don't care i don't care Come is on. it yeah just like that no hard like, feelings I'd say, I'd be like, like, no oh. hard feelings at all that's not what if you don't see him at all the whole day Ooh. yeah exactly so if i and he doesn't do anything you guys will be sad then what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you went for lunch with someone else. <laughs> and then dinner with someone else again. Ooh. Well, that's a bit peak. That, uh, yeah, that, that right. goes back to the We're tweet. Going You're going far. out of your way. No, no, that's true. But then you what about the, the initial thing? So you wouldn't mind at all. If like, just, no hard feelings. Like, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't even look at him a little bit excited. Okay, I've had a Valentine's Day, yeah, mm. in the past, where I've been like, yeah, let's celebrate. Da, da, da. There's been something on that he really enjoys, so I was like, okay, calm, I'll pay for those tickets, we'll go do this, I want you to do that. So, yeah. an expectation was set. I've done my part. Did he do his part? No, so I was like, fuck this. Like, Did this you close line him? Huh? Did you close line him? What do you mean? Did you bang him? No, it's just like, I'm just like, <laughs> no, we was together, so you he was care. my partner. No, because this, this is what I said before. If you said she's saying she said, she put, done her team, yeah. you should have done That's what I'm saying. Yeah. 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 So, all right. Uh, okay. So I'm like, what's, so I was like, all right. What's, like, what's, what's, what's Valentine's like in, in, um, in Georgia? In, in um, so Do people in, care? Yeah. Big time? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, it's a fashion show. Is it? Who has the bigger gifts? Swear down. Yeah. What, amongst okay. like every ages, every like walk of life? No, just like I guess with the millennial generation, it's just like who has the who's had the better Valentine's Day? Is it? Yeah. If you just get one single rose, it's like what? What? <laughs> but that's I got that's back. peak. Though. <laughs> <laughs> Someone gave me one rose for Valentine's Day, and I was like, oh, that's actually so sweet. Like I said, I didn't want to do anything. You've come to my house, surprised me, and given me one single rose. Yeah. <laughs> From when I've said I don't want to do anything, but someone's gone out of their way to be sweet and show me that they care. I'm like, oh, that's actually kind. So yes, so like, all of this. That's enough. Yeah, because it's not, it's, it's not, effort. for me, it's not yeah, what it is, it's the thought, like you thought of me, you wanted to go do something, calm, this, and this is what's going on, like you said, with the millennials, they all just want to show off what they've got, like, they'll be on their dates, like, yes, this is going to be the best date, like, on, on the ground, you're not right. actually enjoying the date, right? Yeah, but so, Philippine, so, Americans are like that anyway, from yeah, like, so I'm going to be, I'm going to be honest, last Valentine's Day, I threw a Valentine's Day party for my friends, Jeez. at my house, but, and I was in a relationship. Okay. I, we, we didn't even talk about Valentine's Day. I mean, we had been together for a few years at this point. And so I didn't even mention Valentine's Day to him or anything. Yeah. And so for the Valentine's Day, we had um, Secret Cupid where they each drew names and bought gifts for other people who were there. Oh, that's cute. Um, well, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. when um, one of my friends, she's like, oh, Keisha, I got your name, so here's your gift. So I opened it up and there was like a pair of socks, a mug, and then there was like a little box of AirPods. And I'm like, you bought me AirPods? 
And then she was like, no, your boyfriend actually called me, gave me the money, and I bought them for you. Because he wasn't Jeez, here. He was out of town. Done. So it was the effort for me. I was like, yeah. oh, that's so sweet. And I called so him like, did, what? You didn't, and then get, I, you didn't get it back. No, I didn't get it back. And then I found out that he was, because he was in a different country, he got my face put on a shirt. So he was wearing Jeez. it on Valentine's Day. Oh, oh see, that's so yeah. sweet. Solid, solid. So yeah. yeah. he didn't tell you. No, he didn't tell me. My friend was just like, this is, is that your face on his shirt? And I was like, what? What? The? Why didn't he tell? So wait. But it was the cutest thing. Was there any way you could have gone the whole day doing that and then you wouldn't have found out? There was a way. Because I didn't, yeah. Because I didn't find out about the shirt until like 11 p.m. What did he tell you? Or no, how, how did you no. My that? friend saw his social media, and she was like, "Is your face on his shirt?" Right. Where's so this she, guy from? She knew you'd huh? see. Where's this from? He's from America. He's so do Nigeria. you think it's absolutely in, not in the states? It's more like <laughs> in the states. It's more of a thing. I guess so. Yeah. This yeah, is why. Well, see when they do prom and that, they make it like it's everything. Like everything. everything. Um, it's a production. It's just, like you buy a limo and all that. Yeah. yeah it's, well, just high school, sixteen, prom, rubbish, wake up. Too much. <laughs> yeah, but it's just another day yeah. and an excuse to be able to like spoil, I guess. Mm. But um, another thing is like, obviously it comes back to the tweet like, if like there's something, you obviously you're in a relationship with a girl, or you're in a relationship with a guy, yeah. If there's something that means so much to your partner, how how's that how how's that supposed to be handled? Because this this is a classic example of it. Mm. Valentine's is there. A lot of women care about it. Men are like, hmm. and it's not even just about it's about Valentine's. It's just like that for a lot of things. Like even when you're talking about other situations, men are just like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Whereas, obviously, women are more like expressive and empathetic. So, if there's things in a relationship that your partner cares about, like, what's your stance on how that should be dealt with? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. say, for example, uh, your partner loves to watch basketball. Mm. You fucking hate it. Mm. But he doesn't want to go with his boys. He, wanna, he wants to go with you. I'm going to go. Yeah, 100%. Yeah? What, on Valentine's yeah. Day? No. No, in general. In general. In Ooh. general life. Yeah, me and my friend, we were talking about this actually last night. And she, because yeah. um, we were smoking shisha. And she's like, if, you're, um, if your man told you to stop smoking shisha, would you stop smoking shisha? Yeah. And I was like, if it genuinely bothered him that I smoked, I would stop. Because, I mean, it's just, it's a consideration thing. But is there a limit? Is there something that you wouldn't stop? Mm, I mean, within obviously within reason. Within reason. Yeah, yeah, within reason. Because yeah, obviously shisha isn't exactly good for your health, so you're like, oh, okay. Right, yeah, so that's what I'm saying. Right. He, was, he was like, no, you're doing this to your lungs. Uh-uh. I know that. Okay, I'll stop. Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you think it should be that? If your girl had a something that she wanted to do so much, say, for example, she was like, yeah, I know you're a bit Western, but if she was like, I want to do yoga and I want you to come with me. What? I wouldn't go. Why? What? I don't want to. What do you mean? <laughs> this is what why, I'm talking about. Why should I go? This is the question I'm what's, asking. Because what's your she really wants you to go. Yeah. What like she wants to go on a journey. She wants to go on this, yeah. on this physical So she's like, let's, let's do yoga just... on Tuesdays. Yeah. 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 And I don't want to. Yeah. No. Because why am I spending what? every Tuesday doing that? I don't want to. See what? I'll say to her, all right, let's do something we both want to do on Tuesday. Yeah, do you know? It's one hour. I don't want to do yoga, it's painful. Have you done yoga? Yes! <laughs> Bro, I'm not even flexible. It is painful that's shit. Like yeah, yeah that's the point. You can't even touch your toes. I like, don't I want, to, want to go. Yeah. No, okay, cool. So, for so example, you wouldn't even try it though, just try it. Well, what if it was the other way around? Mm. Oh, what if I said to her, oh, you know what, every Tuesday for an hour, let's do financial modeling. Yeah, and she so was like, you can oh. tell me the value of companies. Okay, yeah. she's like, yeah, I'm intrigued. Yeah, but I wouldn't. She will say, yeah, I'm intrigued, whatever. But I wouldn't be disappointed if she said, no, I don't want to do that. I have no interest. But because like, that just means that you didn't want her to do it with you enough. Yeah, exactly. If someone if really pushy, wanted you to and do I make it, her feel comfortable. That's a point. Okay, have you ever That's done something? Point. Listen, have you ever done something with someone that they don't want to do? Yeah. If someone doesn't want to do something, their attitude is shit, no, everything is not, shit, that's not a and it doesn't work out. Yeah. No, it's nothing You're supposed to do everything. This is, this is nothing to do with love. This is nothing to do with love. Bro, no, it's not. Yeah, but I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll start turning up late. I'll be disrespectful to the teacher. I won't even be trying. Oh, yeah, Everyone's all trying. Person. Listen, I've tried to do yoga. I hate yoga. If she said something that's listen, in between. Chris, Chris, I'm so Chris, happy I chose the example yeah, of yoga. Listen, obviously, listen. obviously, obviously, yeah. if, if she knew your, <laughs> your, your, if she knew your yoga trauma, she's not going to beg you to go to yoga with Exactly. You. So basically, he, he just. So he express just, the no, he, just, he just gave an example, but what if something else? Okay, let's go bike riding. Mm. Would you go? No, you wouldn't really fucking go. And you're not getting it. It's not about so you don't feel like He just wouldn't fucking do it because he doesn't want to. It it's, like, it's like, for me, I, I'm way too busy to make a commitment that I don't want. 
that does not add value to me, okay. apart from making you happy. But it would, it's like, that would make let's, let's Ooh, make something. So that's not value enough though. It's nah, like, nah, happy, that's not, not value enough. That's a bit mean. Nah, I don't want to do something that. that I don't want to do. Because I don't want to do it. Uh, I'm being real, I don't want to do it. You if you say, do something that I don't mind ice skating every Tuesday, yeah, well, let's do me, it. It's me. I'm not doing it with you. I'm doing it with her. <laughs> no, not me. But if you ask me, let's go ice skating on Tuesday, yeah. I would flat out say, fuck yourself. What is wrong with you two? It's you two. I don't you want to do it. You're on an ice skate. Yeah, but maybe no, but that's could. actually hazardous because I would die. <laughs> I actually looked at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, I would actually be dead before we came back home. But if it was something like yoga, <laughs> if it was something like yoga, I'd be like, I just give it a go. Because you're flex, you can do the splits. He can do bro. the splits. Oh, you do the splits. Do so basically, <laughs> <laughs> if you're talking about something that I can actually do. So you guys are talking about alt- um, offering alternatives. No, I won't do this, but I'll do this. Wait, hold on. If yeah. I said, nah, nah, nah. if I your won't. man said to you, financial modeling, every Tuesday for an hour, would you do it? If this is something that he's it's super passionate. interested yeah. in. But also, that's let me get some paper and a pen. That's the difference with men and women. Yes, I'll Because you know what? So. That's the difference okay, they teach me. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, that's the difference with men and women. Yeah. They want to learn and they're intrigued. They want to be a part exactly. of it. I, I think they say that, but then when it actually happens, it's not like... No, no. but the no. thing is, that's no. actually, I, I what you're so. talking about is educational. It's going to be beneficial yeah. to them, even if they split up from you. Yeah. No, not really. No, but I'm not an analyst. I've always found... What use that? I've always, that? I'm, I'm I'm always found that with girls, yeah? Especially your partner. If you get, if you tell her, like, I want to do this, they'll be like, yeah. She'll give it a go, bro. Yeah, with a where, smile on her face. Yeah, whereas like she might not be thoroughly enjoying it, but she'll be trying her best. For you, I've, but she can't I've, Okay, you. I've, tried, I've right. tried to do things. I had a partner before, yeah? And I I go to church, I believe in Jesus, innit? So yeah. on Sundays, I was like, no, here it's out here, it's Fridays, innit? Yeah, yeah. So I was like, come to church with me on Fridays, right? And we'd go, but every time it's like, their heart's not in it, the energy's not there, you can tell they don't believe it, they're always questioning dumb questions, and it's just like, like, I'm asking you to do this for me, you're acting like you're doing me a huge favour, it's just an uncomfortable situation, do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, she still come, and she definitely say, yes, let's go, but, just, like, the whole there. experience, it's just like, when someone does not want to do, it's like, you can take a horse to water, but you can't make a drink, it's true. That's true. It's 100%. like, you can... You can implement it as much as you can, and, it's, and you're always going to say, yeah, I'd love to, let's do it. But then when it comes to it, it's like... That's on the person. It's just not the same. Yeah. It's on the person. I it's think... 100%. It's, it's on the you person. Know what? It's, not you only know is it on the person, but it's, it's also on the activity. On, as well. It's on both. It's on both. No. It's on both. No, nah, because someone, say for example... I think it's just said, on the person. Your attitude is nah, everything. Nah, nah, think yeah. about it. If it was like a thing like, let's go and watch football every single weekend, my team's playing, bro, like, you might say, let's go, yeah, but... Half an hour. The thing about it is, you you do things you you th- do things like going to work. If you don't want to go to work, you're not gonna go in there and start yeah. knocking pencils over and kicking computers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you're not gonna go and have an attitude every single day. Yeah. You'll change your so job. So it's the same thing. You'll change your job. Every single job. You're not gonna be happy every single job. Everything mm-hmm. you do every single day. That's impossible. Like, but but no, but the thing with a job is you that choose which happen. field you go you into. You choose who you're gonna be in a relationship with. Yeah. Yeah, but you don't choose that activity. You choose, they then say, "Let's go and do this." You choose the whole person. It's you can't pick and choose what you like and don't like about that person. You choose the whole person. So mm-hmm. I choose this whole person, but they like to do something I really don't like to do. Imagine that someone I went out with a Jewish girl. I love her to bitch, but she's Jewish. I don't care. Religion doesn't matter to me. But she wants me to now go to temple. <laughs> I'm not going I'm to gonna cut you off there. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm going to touch that. It's some serious shit. What? No, but it's true. true. No, but I think it's... Mm. <laughs> no, thanks. I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> I, I think he's fair enough. Could, that is true. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah, that's I think enough. altogether it is about balance in it. So yeah. if there's something you really hate, like like he just said, you have yoga trauma, that's clear. Yeah. Okay? So she ain't gonna force you to do mm-hmm. yoga, but she might want you to do something else. And there's that in between. Why, as a man, do you want your girl to come with you to football every week? Why don't you want to go with your boys? Do you know what I mean? Like maybe one well, time. I don't fucking want to. Innit? I want to go have a beer with my girl, innit? Yeah, but sometimes, yeah, but sometimes you want to just <laughs> go and play the with the lad. I'm gonna be honest. I bought a shirt that says "This girl loves football." I have no clue what football. What happens in football? And no, I still I'm not going, talking I still about watch American it. football. And I wear a shirt. Do you mean soccer? Football. Soccer. Oh, I mean football. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it's true though. Even just, even like that, like. All right. I get, I, I, I get that. I learned how to play tennis. Because my guy liked it. She 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 learned. She done her thing. Right. Anyway, smile on my I read it. I remember. Uh, listen, class. going back to that tweet, yeah. Yeah. If women care about Valentine's Day so much, yeah. Yeah. Do you think then they should be the one that 
Set in the pace. Yeah, but I think if the woman cares about Valentine's Day, she should be doing the thing. She should set the pace. But I've been speaking to people, other girls, asking opinions, like, what they think. And a lot of the time they're like, "Mm." and then they're like, oh, yeah, but they have to. Uh," I'm like, oh, so so it is, yeah, you care. But then they feel like, a a lot of them, might feel a bit like, oh, okay, like, let me just buy some sexy lingerie and I'll mm. do that after the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> no, so, <exactly>. yeah. <laughs> By the way, the lingerie thing, I don't really get it. Yeah, <laughs> neither do I, I can't lie. So, <laughs> it's just like, that's, it, that's not even for me. That's for you. No, so you I'm sorry, bro. No, no, so I, I swear to God, like, You're wearing lingerie, this yeah. like a <laughs> you, take, you take off your dress. At that point, I just want to be. But now you're trying to... What? Wait, you bought this pint for me, but it's just like a yellow one instead of the one you were wearing earlier. What's the difference? It's tighter. And it's just like, you it's take sexier. it off. And it has lace. It has lace, you can see the look of nipple. What? What's lace? Lace, what? it's like the, you know, lace. What? No, I just want you to tell me, is lace just a string? Yeah, it's like, it's, yeah, it's, it's like, it's like the thin, yeah, thin fabric. Thin but like but by now, I've seen you naked. naked. So it's like, you know what? Let me tell you something. Yeah. Is that just meant to tease me or what? Yeah, mm. it's a, it's a form yeah. of foreplay. Because yeah, I don't want to be teased. <laughs> I think that's just more for the woman's pleasure than the man's, to be honest. What, is uh, the the woman woman is like, what kind of pleasure does a woman get with the piece of string hanging out of her butt? Because you get to feel sexy, <laughs> you know. Hey, listen, hold on. So you, like, like, you guys go out it's and pay for Uber. You guys go out. Put pay one on. You guys. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's hella uncomfortable. You guys go, not for us. Listen, please, please. So you guys go out, you buy overpriced string for the guy. For you, he doesn't you, even you, want it. Who won't even go to yoga? <laughs> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Tell you you don't go to that section again. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Yeah. There's no. I won't tell you. Yeah. But I don't do shit. Bro. It does nothing. <laughs> That's why I thought I'd just let you all know at once. I think that is a matter of opinion. I have met lots of guys that don't care, but I have actually met some guys that like. Where's your matching underwear, huh? It's the switch up. It's yeah. just different effort. No, I'm not talking it's about matching underwear. Form of effort. I'm not talking about matching underwear. No, but everything, all I'm of that kind of laundry. I'm talking about laundry. laundry thing with a little string that goes yeah, up. Yeah, it's, it's a, a switch up. Because at the end of the day, you're going to take that shit off. Yeah, yeah, but some men like to see their woman naked in heels. What are the heels doing? Yeah, what are they doing? Yeah, yeah, Making yeah. me taller like, than all like these that. guys. That's what they're doing. Why are you going to cook in a pair of pennies? I'm getting grease on my breasts. Yeah. Do you know? No, but that's different. That one's a bit different. Isn't I'm it? talking about like... I'd much rather she brought a friend. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a present. Do you get what I'm saying? That's a present. Am I You're lying? Horrible. Am I lying? <laughs> I don't know. Am I lying? Am I lying? You, you, actually, you, I lying? you can't make this shit up. Am I lying? I don't know. I don't know. No comment. Am I lying? No comment. Am I lying? Let me know. I'm no comment. I have the right to remain silent. Please. That's a present. Well, that's it. That's a present. Uh, but again, that's a matter of opinion because not like all guys want two girls. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm disagree. I'm not gonna I, don't really <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think they do. Okay, fine. I'm not gonna and they're all sick. Them. You guys are all I'm sick. You comment. see it? No, yeah, but some guys. Comment. I would never. Some guys. Yeah, me, I would. You would never what? I'm not never. there to be with another woman. Yeah. But some guys. <laughs> I don't think they have the capacity to be able to deal with two women at one time. Say that again? I don't think all guys have the capacity to be able to deal with two women at one time. Most guys... I don't think they do. They don't. But they're going to try, but they don't. No, but I think you'll be able to find some extra motivation if you saw two girls around you. Yeah. No lingerie though, obviously. Yeah, there's no need for that. There's no need. I'll swap the lingerie no for the, a friend. It's okay. We can make exchange. <laughs> yeah, would you want to say you're a woman who you've been with for like three years, say, you want her to bring a friend? Yep. So you don't want to slap her hard? What? <laughs> you were saying that anyway. Listen, if she brings a friend, I will beat the <laughs> you know, I'll do it. Ever. So what? Oh, have, you, have you ever had a girl? Have you ever had a girl that didn't care about Valentine? No. Never? No. But you know what? It's, I care about Valentine's. I'm a romantic, innit? Jeez. Or at least I like to think so. Right? Yeah. Even after, after he just said two he wants to do it. But that's kind that's of romantic. No, there's nothing wrong with that. No, but... Alright, fair. Come but on. like, <laughs> yeah, I'm a romantic, so... On Valentine's Day, I'm the type of brother that will book the ho- the restaurant, yeah, like a few months in advance. Jeez. Or book the hotel, like, in advance. That like, I'll make a pattern, make her feel special, all that stuff. I love it. So, I tend to attract girls who also enjoy that enjoy type of stuff because I like taking care of women in relationships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The thing yeah. is, whether it's on Valentine's or another day, if you've made your woman feel special, mm. 
you were like the way that that woman would give back to you without her even like thinking about it. Yeah, it's peak. Yeah, it's peak. I agree, still. Yeah, a woman who feels appreciated loves a bit different, still. So. It's very different. A bit different. Even like the feeling in your heart, <laughs> me as a woman, when I feel appreciated and I've been made to feel special and like the one, the way I give back, like, you want me to comfortable? I'm comfortable. I want you my are, financial blah blah. Yeah, blah blah. blah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, because you are there, you appreciate it and you want to show that appreciation. But he said it's on Excel. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I know, but I'm a child. Yeah. yeah. I'm a child. So yeah, that makes sense still. Like, I think. I think. Yeah, okay, let me not say anything. No, I want to hear it. Yeah, You've said enough. You might as well carry on, bro. Yeah. Alright, I think that if a man is giving you good sex, then you will do those things. Good attention and good sex. I don't think he necessarily has to be taking you out or spoiling you all the time. I think those things, those two things are enough. I, I, you know what I said one time, yeah? I said, because I said, if you can listen to a woman, yeah, yeah. you're halfway there. It's 100%. Like, because bear mind, listen. really listen. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean, like, really listen. What, pay, like, attention, like, pay attention, no, listen, no, give back. Give yeah. feedback. Give I think that's yeah. things yeah. are more important. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. you might do that. You might have a man here yeah, that buys you nice stuff and takes you to nice places, but he's not present. Yeah, but bear think... girls do like that as well. Don't get it twisted. Bear wow. girls like just to be spoiled. They don't care about the other stuff. Like, there are girls like that but as well. But are those the same girls that cheat? I would say so. Yeah. I've worked yeah. it out, man. Yeah, I would say <laughs> so. You have to hold. Because they don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah, they don't care. You have to they show them the good attention. And, okay, what if he does all that stuff, but in the bedroom he's whack? Oh, be real. Be real. Are you still going to do financial modelling with a smile on your face when you're... You can teach that stuff. When you're not yeah, sick. that's the thing. That, that's you can teach Yeah, you can teach No, no, but you can teach that's that. what I'm saying. If he's not delivering. Uh, no, <laughs> you can try. Even after lesson, yeah. lesson one to five, still not delivering. No, sometimes it takes ten. Okay, after 20, you still but not fine. The thing is, if you they really care doctor. about someone and you really love someone, like, sex is different anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm, so, I so when you are, like, trying these things and whatever, like, it should just, it, and it does just kind of change. Like, in time, sometimes you just have to give it time and you have to deal with dead sex for a little while. Mm. Which is a bit shit, very shit. But Does it affect how you behave, you think? Why, right, because you got more sexual tension? Yeah. Like, there's a difference between a girl who has a bus and and a girl who has... Yeah, there is a big difference. Big difference, bro. Man. Big difference. I think women actually need it more than men. Yeah, 100%. 100%. Mm. Like, if you see a woman in her period, it's because she can't bust that nut, fam. <laughs> That's why she's so pissed off, bro. <laughs> That's why she's so pissed off, bro. It's not because she's bleeding. It's because she can't bust her nut. That's why. Mad team. It's peak. And that makes a difference. One of our boys was saying the other day, he was like, fam, you're giving a girl good sex, yeah? She ain't going nowhere. Yeah. And Have you heard of the term digmatized? Yeah, but I think thing. I think that only lasts a certain while. What's that? What's that? I think I the think dig- the attention you... thing makes more sense. Yeah, it depends. I think they go I think it's like Yeah, like that's like hand, hand quick. Bro, I think it's like a chair. Like without attention, without sex, without, you know, financial stability. Without one of these things, it's gonna fall. Yeah. Without all I genuinely feel that. Yeah. Without all of yeah, it. yeah, exactly. You need all of it. You need That's all of it. What you don't agree? So mm. once you remove, I tell you why you would agree. Why? Because you ain't been in a peak situation yet, fam. You ain't been in a situation where your kid can't go to school. I've been in a situation where I was the only one working at me and um, yeah, but, my partner. Yeah, but the situation wasn't. It was peak, all right. But the situation hadn't got peak. What I mean by that is. It weren't real yet. It yeah. weren't real life struggles yet. Okay, but that's a relationship. You don't leave because that happens. No, you're mm-hmm. not saying you leave. I'm okay, saying what are you saying? Say you start having some serious problems. Obviously. Yeah, because what I'm saying is like, I, like, I, none of us here have kids, yeah. Yeah. So if you're with your partner and like, obviously, he ain't really pulling his weight in that, and you're the one working, but I'm not talking about a situation like obviously there's situations where there's men they're building something at the moment mm. and it's just not there yet. Mm. You can see that the Don's trying in it. Do you understand? Know that, that's different, yeah? But when he's genuinely not doing nothing and it's just you doing all this like good work and that, it will start to strain you. Not because you don't care, but because you start seeing him different. What yeah. how can I put my future of my kids, my future of my life into this guy if he's not even trying his best? Mm-hmm. And women see straight through that. You see the thing is, you were telling me this stuff bit. What women want and what what women want to see and what men want to see is completely different. Mm. Women want to see that they're with a man who's got them for life. In terms of effort, listening to them, 
financially and listening to the little attentions and what they want sexually and all that. Yeah, because yeah, as soon as you feel like your man don't have your back like that, done. You're on like, the way even out. Even if no, 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 on the way out. On the way out. But if, if you pull like he doesn't have your back. You're on the way up. Yeah, because you know what we were saying what? before, like, you know, a woman, back. sometimes... Anything can happen. Life can happen. I don't expect my man to be 100% for the entire entirety of our relationship. Yeah, yeah but having yeah, your back... Something is going to happen. Yeah, but having your back... I expect my man to have my back. Yeah. Whenever, having your back your high, has to low, be whatever. What's an example of that? Like, say, for example... Oh, Jesus, put me on the spot here. Having your back. All right, cool. So, like, say, for example... Um, uh, uh, you're out, you're out there, and some people are just talking some shit about you, and he ain't got your back. Yeah, he should be saying. He should be like saying, saying something. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, of course. Well, if that's someone's what, like banging that, falls, oh, that, yeah. that falls under like the protection umbrella. That's yeah, what but I that's mean, what we're though. saying. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, yeah, but I feel unsafe. Unsafe. It's yeah, not, there we go. Uh, yeah. a, a, a little bit different, different. language. Yeah. Why? What do you, you, you want to say? From ATL. No, I mean that isn't that that isn't. I don't feel like that's the same thing as like you. What Timmy was saying, you have to be financial, you have to be. No, this. I'm not no, saying, he's, I'm not saying he's got to be rich. Would you, you, be, able to, would you yeah, be able to. Would you be able to. Would you hold down a relationship, yeah, with a guy that. Because um, you said that you were in a relationship mm-hmm. before where you were the only one working. What mm-hmm. was that like? I mean, it, he, I mean, he was trying. He was trying. That's it. If they're trying, yeah. He's trying. Like, but but if he for was, a few months. If he wasn't trying, how would you feel? Did it Did it For a few months. Did it end because of that? No. If he wasn't no. trying, how do you think he would have felt? I mean, I would have been like, get up and do something. Yeah. Yeah, and that's, that's the thing. As a woman, but the thing is, I women think, have patience. We'll yeah. say that for a while before we find like... I agree. Women do have patience. Yeah, yeah. but we would sure. also be pushing them to try. To well, you know and supporting them to try. Know, women do that a lot too. Yeah. If they see that their man's viable financially, a lot, not all women, of course not, but some women too, they'll get comfy and sit there. It's true, but Listen even here. even uh, last year when well, I was I'm trying to sit, you, you, oh my. <laughs> yes, I wanted some American opinion. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, but I feel like what you're trying to say is they'll put up with other shit. As not, if you have money, is that what you're trying to say? Is that what you're saying? Well, that as well. Mm. But you wouldn't put up. Some people money. do. But you'd have to. What? Try no, on. I don't. I'm still a person. You can't treat me like anything. No, I'm not saying. I'm not you don't s- own me. No, I'm not saying that. But I'm saying. There's more, ch- there's more um, leeway for shit like that to start happening. Yeah. So you see it all the time. It depends on, it depends on well, the person. Yeah, but you see Just because you got more time. money than me doesn't mean I'm going to no, take your shit. No, like you got no money at all. Doesn't matter. I'll find another, I'll no, find another group. Mm-hmm. No, you will find another group. Yeah, it. not with him. I'm not going to take his shit because he has money and I don't. I'm not talking about you. I'm saying this is what tends to happen. Whenever you got a, like, there's a, like, obviously, the, the guys are not this financially stable more than you you don't need to work do you know what I mean enough that sounds like heaven yeah 